We've all been in this situation before, a, a great big cumbersome map, and you're trying to find your way across Europe. And of course, it's, it's all very difficult, especially when you start moving. You've then got road junctions and people and other cars to contend with, and you've still got to try and find your way. I mean, how much simpler it would be if this sort of information could be contained in a form that could be presented to the driver as he drove along. I suppose that's the year 2001, really. In fact, it's not. Philips reckon they're there already. Let's see how this system works. This is the Philips Karin, a sophisticated in-car navigation system. In simple terms, you just tell it exactly where you are and where you want to go, and the computer works out the shortest, most efficient route to get you to your destination. Take first turn in left. At the heart of Karin is this, the compact disc. Most people will have seen compact discs used to store music, but in this application, the disc has stored maps. You could put all the motorways, roads, towns and village streets of the whole of Britain on just one of these discs. The system incorporates an electronic compass, and through the ordinary speedometer of the car, it works out just where it is by dead reckoning. You enter your street name on a simple keyboard, and then you place where you want to go. The name of a hotel, for instance, hundreds of miles away, and leave the rest to Karen. Take first turning right. So what happens if you miss a turning? Well, the computer verbally smacks your wrist, and then sets out to work out a new route as you drive along. You have deviated from the planned route. Take first turning right. The computer doesn't instruct you where to go, it recommends. And if you decide you don't want to go along with it, well, it sorts out the alternatives. But it will tell you, for instance, whether it's best to do a U-turn there and then, or make a long diversion. You have deviated from the planned route. Make a U-turn. Of course, this system is still in the early prototype stages. In a car, for instance, you won't have a TV screen. Philips think that's too much of a distraction. They see the system operating in a car with just the voice, directional advice, and this LCD reminder on the dashboard. Take first turning left. In the future, the system will also take on board and decode the latest road information, traffic jams, diversions, bad weather, and will reroute you accordingly. Take second turning left. The applications of the system are obvious. The emergency services need to get their people to the scene of an incident as quickly as possible. Fleet users could also show big savings in fuel costs and time by having efficient route planning, but private users will be welcome too. Businessmen, reps, journalists, doctors, even rental cars at airports. The list is endless. Take first turn in left. Of course, the disc doesn't just store road maps. It can show locations of restaurants, hotels, petrol stations, tourist information. The limits of the disc are those of your own imagination. We have arrived. Well, that's a brief introduction to Karin, and it's really not that far away in terms of practical realities. Philips reckon they'll have a system in operation for lorry and fleet operators within the next two years, and the unit cost could be as low as £1,500. For the future, when they start integrating this navigation system into the onboard computers that cars will have for engine management, for anti-lock brakes, then the unit cost will come right down to that of a sophisticated car radio. So in the future, when a driver's got to head off across Europe, he can throw away this lot. All he'll simply have is a little file of compact discs. Now, let me see. This afternoon, we're in Holland and going on down through Germany. And tomorrow, we'll be through the rest of Austria and into Italy. <laughs>